Good evening and a warm welcome to this service of evening prayer. It's very good to have you with us online this evening. I'll be leading this short act of worship with Poppy, who's very kindly hosting it for us tonight. The words of this evening's service are taken from the Northumbrian community Celtic Celtic evening prayer. There will be some music for reflection in the middle and again at the end. And though we won't be able to include all the music when we put this service on YouTube, the reflection link will be made available for you to listen to later. Do adjust the volume on your own devices as the sound levels will vary, uh, especially during the music. You will be mute for the duration of the service but please do join in the responses in bold on your screen. You may like to have a candle lit to help you reflect on Christ as the light of the world. And at the end of the service, we will just leave quietly. The final slide will remain up for a few moments after the music has ended. And the music tonight will be John Rotter's lovely setting of the Irish Blessing. As I mentioned last week, we are offering these services in line with the Archbishop's uh, request that Thursday evenings should be a time of prayer during the season of remembrance, but particularly during this period of lockdown. The Archbishop said that even though is, there is much darkness around us, there are also many points of light in the weeks ahead. And they call for us to be calm, to be courageous and to be compassionate. We can do this by remembering that God is with us, sharing the darkness of our struggles and our concerns at this time, bringing comfort and joy. God, through Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit, is the source of our hope. So now, let us still ourselves as we come before God in prayer this night. Make ourselves aware of God's presence here with us, lightening our darkness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say together, my soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. Out of the depths I have cried to you. O oh Lord, hear my voice. With my whole heart, I want to praise you. O oh Lord, hear my voice. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities. Who should, could stand? Who could stand? I will wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word do I hope. We now come to an expression of our faith and we say together, Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day and though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day and though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day, and though of anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials, and now, tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, 
you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine. And though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time was ripe. And though you seem silent now, today I believe. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From those who are deceitful and unjust, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you cast me off? Why must I walk about mournfully? Because of the oppression of the enemy. O oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with the harp, O oh God, my God. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, where I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Here ends our reading. Let us pray. Into your hands, O Lord, we place our families, our neighbours, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and all whom we have met today, perhaps online, or in person, or on the phone. Enfold them in your will. Enfold them in your will. Into your hands, O Lord, we place all who are victims of prejudice, oppression, or neglect. The unwanted, the frail, the homeless, the refugees, the lost and the lonely. May everyone be cherished throughout their lives. May everyone be cherished throughout their lives. To your hands, O oh Lord, we place all who are restless, sick, or suffering from mental disorders. Pray for any known to us who are ill at this time. We pray tonight for Jonathan and for Holly and for any others known to us. And we pray especially for all the NHS staff who are caring for them. Keep them in your peace. Keep them in your peace. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we place the members of our community and others in our hearts. We pray for those who have departed this world and for the bereaved, naming those known to us in our hearts this night. For 
watch over them and watch over us this night. Watch over them and watch over us this night. Amen. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, to dwell in the presence of my God, to gaze on your holy place. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. O oh, wait for the Lord, have courage and wait. Wait for the Lord. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. See that we are at peace among ourselves, brothers and sisters. May we follow the example of the wise and the good, and God will comfort us and help us both in this world and in the world which is to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.